So to give you an idea where I'm going to go with this review, I'll say this. This movie is uh, brought to you by the acclaimed director of Annabelle, the original, and The Butterfly Effect 2. All right, let's get this over with. And with that, I'm welcome to another episode of The Road Mentor, where my goal is always is to enhance your movie watching experience. So wish upon a newest horror release here in the summertime, which I'm always excited for. I'm a huge horror fan. The last couple of years have been great. You do have your duds like Bye Bye Man early this year and this piece of crap now. Oh, this movie is what a huge mishap. I can't say it, it was a disappointment because I really wasn't expecting much based on the trailers. But if you guys don't know, we have this young girl, high school girl played by Joey King. She's relative, uh, relatively a newcomer. She, um, you know, she's kind of a little bit of an outsider. She wants to be cool and popular. Hell, we all do at that age. I get it. And eventually, um, her father, played by Ryan Philippe, who's actually found work again. Good for him. And he, I guess, scavenges for trash for a living. They don't really get into it. Whatever. And he runs across this, this box he gives to her as a gift. Um, it's a history of this box and all that, including a history with her mom who commits suicide as a young child. Um, which she witnessed as a young child anyway. Now, this box apparently has some kind of uh, dark and mystical power, of course. Uh, the, the, box, the, the box will grant you seven wishes, but every time you make a wish, there's a blood, a blood price to be paid, which means someone needs to die. The premise is not exactly the greatest thing in the world, but it's a harm way. At the end of the day, it doesn't make a difference. This movie just needs to be scary, and it doesn't make any attempt to be scary in the least. This movie is a, a freaking train wreck. Not quite as bad as Bye Bye Man, but pretty freaking close. Now, I don't want to dwell on everything that's wrong this movie because this will be like a 30 minute video. But listen, it's poorly written. You know, I give an example where you know this box is, I guess, it's of Asian uh, mythology, I guess. So it's all, all the letterings in Chinese. And fortunately for the girl who's given the box, uh, Joey King's character, she happens to know Chinese because she learns it in high school. I didn't realize high school really taught. I know some high schools do teach Chinese, but it's not a common thing. But what a coincidence! And of course, the only lettering she can read, of course, is the one that says. Uh, seven wishes something along like that along those lines so she's begins to kind of make these wishes not realizing what's going on and little by little she finds out that people are dying as a wish comes true now this movie tried to be a little bit of fi uh, final destination in terms of some of the deaths that we've seen but it it's really lacks any creativity lacks any kind of tension no scares whatsoever i mean it, it's actually extremely funny and not in a good way uh, and it's not meant to be. I was, I was laughing. Most of the theater was laughing. A lot of these death scenes were just ridiculous and dumb. There's actually one interesting scene, which I don't want to get into because it's a spoiler territory. But essentially, nothing really works in this movie. It's, it's just, it's, it's everything. It's so calculated. You see everything coming. You know exactly who is going to die. It, it just, uh, it's, just, it's dull. It has just nothing redeeming here at all. And sometimes you at least get some cool death scenes, like in Final Destination. This has nothing and the, the ideas behind the deaths could have been cool, but they were just executed so poorly. And again, this is no surprise. He directed Butterfly Effect 2 and Annabelle, which was a huge disappointment. So guys, do I recommend this movie? Hell no, run away from this. And, uh, and, and uh, I'm just, this is low hanging fruit, but I gotta say, I, I wish that girl would have wished me never to see this movie. Um, stay away from it. it, it's dull. Save your money, it's other good stuff. The, the new Annabelle is actually pretty good. I'll do a review on that a little bit later on. And in any event, you guys are going to check it out. Let me know if you do. My condolences. As always, comment below. If you haven't done so, subscribe below and feed money to go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. And of course, don't forget to check myself out. I'm my co-host, Chewy and the Man Beast, and our Real Mentors podcast. Check us out on iTunes, Podbean, Pocket Cash. We talk movies, TV, and have, have some fun along the way because otherwise, what's the point? See you around, guys.